I would never mandate that everyone go into positive psychology, but I do believe that it's widely helpful. Both of my parents are psychologists, and my father was, was one of the pioneers in happiness studies. So I grew up thinking that happiness was something that we can measure, something that is worth measuring, and hearing about the results of these scientific studies. A mountain of research data reveals the idea that happiness isn't just feeling good, it's good for you. Coaching doesn't need positive psychology, but I definitely believe that coaching could use positive psychology. Now, positive psychological science takes that even a step further by providing a language and framework for understanding things like strengths and how to employ them at work, how to develop them. But typically when people tell me they're curious about coaching, this is how I respond. Do it. Coaching is a conversational technology. And when you go through coach training, you learn to listen better, you learn to notice more, you learn to read others better, one of the ways that positive psychology coaching can benefit organizations is because it changes the way that the people within those organizations relate to one another. Coaching has an indirect influence on those metrics we care about. But you can't just stop with leadership buy-in. You also need to train coaches and position them at all levels and roles within an organization to change the way that people are interacting with one another. And so what I think positive psychology can do is add an extra layer of sophistication and a new set of tools onto existing coaching practices, no matter what the person's training background or experience level is. And what that does is re-engages coaching with practice. It makes you sort of come alive in your own practice and renew your skill set. Ultimately, that's a benefit for clients.